In today's session, we are going to learn the definition of exponential distribution and we are going to see what is meant by memoryless property and some problems on this distribution. First of all, we recall exponential distribution belong to continuous distribution. The definition of exponential distribution is as follows. So, lambda is the parameter here, it should be greater than 0 and x should be always greater than or equal to 0. So, we are going to prove memoryless property. So, let us see what is the memoryless property. If x is exponentially distributed random variable, then probability of x greater than s plus t provided x is already happen, x greater than s is equal to probability of x greater than t provided both s and t are greater than 0. So, what it is trying to say, suppose we consider a random variable or a stochastic process, if it possesses memoryless property, that means if its future behavior does not depends on the past behavior given its current state. Maybe in other words, what we say, knowing the history of the process provides no additional information about the future behavior beyond the current state. This property essentially implies that the distribution of the future outcomes of the random variable remains unchanged regardless of how much time it was already passed. So, now we are going to prove this. Okay, first of all, we take the RHS. Since it is exponential distribution, I am taking the f of x lambda e power minus lambda x comma x greater than or equal to 0. Now, let us take the RHS probability of x greater than t. So, my lower limit is t, it goes up to infinity. It is going to be f of x dx. Now, my f of x dx is what? Lambda e power minus lambda x dx. And we know the integration of e power ax is what? e power ax by a plus c. So, I will take this lambda outside and integration of e power minus lambda x is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda. When you substitute the upper limit, we know that e power minus infinity is 0 and e power 0 is 1. Here, the lambda lambda will get cancelled. So, finally, I will get e power minus lambda t. Therefore, probability of x greater than t is equal to e power minus lambda t. This is what we have proved in the RHS. Let us consider this as 1. Now, the same thing we have to do for what? LHS. Now, if I say probability of x greater than t is e power minus lambda t, now I can put for any value, right? When t greater than 0, if I take probability of x greater than 10, e power minus 10 lambda or lambda 10. Now, this is essential for the RHS. We have proved the result. Now, we take the result according to our LHS. In LHS, we have s plus t. So, probability of x greater than s plus t is simply e power minus lambda s plus t. Similarly, x greater than s means e power minus lambda s. Now, this is my LHS. It look like what? Conditional probability. So, we know that p of a given b is probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b. Okay. Now, to find the numerator, let us consider the point S. The point S is here and the point S plus T is here since we know that S is greater than 0 and T is greater than 0. So, now probability of X greater than S means it goes from here and probability of X greater than S plus S means it goes from here. Now, this region is common for both. So, what I can say, probability of, yeah, from here, this region is common. So, I will say this as what? Probability of x greater than s plus t. Okay, done. Now, immediately, just now we see the result, what it is? e power minus lambda s plus t divided by e power minus lambda s. So, when you simplify this, I can cancel this and this and this is my final result. Now, my LHS and RHS are same. So, we proved the memoryless property of exponential distribution guys.
okay so we can use this property in problem solving point of view now uh, in exponential distribution whenever the problem comes it is very easy and simple you don't want to integrate every time if you remember this result just now we solve this result probability of x greater than t is equal to e power minus lambda t provided t is non zero value non zero positive value okay let us keep this in mind and the memoryless property in the mind let us do a problem okay what is still the mileage of a tire is exponentially distributed okay the first statement it is give it is exponentially distributed mean okay so here we have to know the mean of exponential distribution is 1 by lambda and the variance is going to be 1 by lambda square okay this information we know from the mgf already we found the mgf of the exponential distribution mean and variance okay if somebody has not seen the video see the description link watch the video how to find the moment generating function of exponential distribution mean and variance okay now it is very clear mean is given as what 40000 kilometer so mean is nothing but my 1 by lambda so immediately i'll get lambda is equal to 1 by 40000 this is the only parameter in exponential distribution where i got the information from the question okay done so let us do one by one the distribution is exponential x represents the mileage of a tire then according to the question my f of x is equal to lambda e power minus lambda x when x greater than or equal to 0 and lambda greater than 0 so now we found the lambda value done now what does the question ask to us first of all the question asked to us what is the probability that the tire will be used at least the tire will run at least 20000 kilometers so at least means yeah this is one. and do you remember guys i said many times in a continuous distribution or in a continuous random variable probability of x greater than a is equal to what x greater than a both are same okay so now immediately using that result you don't want to integrate okay what is the result we have probability of x greater than t is equal to e power minus lambda t this is also equal to greater than or equal to t okay so immediately we write e power minus my lambda is what 1 by 40,000 and then my t is 20,000 that's what I have mentioned here so it is very simple e power minus 1 by 2 just take your calculator found the solution what is the probability that the tire will run at most 30,000 kilometers so at most is nothing but probability of x less than or equal to 30,000 so now we have the classical result the total probability is 1 so I can simply write 1 minus x greater than 30,000 so immediately I can use the result e power minus lambda t t is 30,000 and lambda is 1 by 40,000 so immediately I will get the result 1 minus e power minus 3 by 4 you can easily calculate and find the value that's it guys now the third question is very very interesting I am going to buy a tire which is not a fresh one which is an used one okay the tire is already used for what at least 20,000 kilometers it was already used for 20,000 kilometers now I buy the tire now what they are asking what is the probability that this tire will run more than 30,000 kilometers so the second and tire what I buy it should run more than 30,000 kilometer provided what is the information already given this tire is already used for 20,000 kilometer now it is going to be my conditional probability so 
I don't want to solve with the conditional probability formula because it is what exponential distribution. So I do you remember the memoryless property just now we study. Now you see my SS twenty thousand. I will write this as twenty thousand plus ten thousand divided x greater than twenty thousand. Using memoryless property, it is going to be simply x greater than because here we have 20,000, here we have 20,000, we neglect it, we take x greater than 10,000. Use your calculator, find the value of e power minus 1 by 4, it is going to be 0 0.7788. So, it is very easy to solve with the two results which we learned. Memoryless property and then probability of x greater than t is e power minus lambda t. So, using this two property, we can crack any standard problems in exponential distribution yeah thanks for watching and thanks for your support